How to add custom fields to products on Shopify? Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add custom fields to products on Shopify. So please, watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. This is quite simple, but this is gonna take some minutes to explain you. So by now, first of all, you must to have your Shopify account already opened and have a product there. I'm going to show you the process to add a product. So I'm going to click there. Remember in the left menu, you have different options. So I clicked on products and now in add your products. Here, I'm going to try to sell a guitar and here in the description, perhaps we want to name the different colors that we have the guitar already and also the different size and the wood and the strings and so on there are so many options that you can place there but this is not i don't know like it's not quite professional because they people are going to read the description. Obviously, they are going to know there are different options in color, size, the wood, the strings, but they are not going to be able to select the specific product they want. In any case, if you scroll down a lot, you're going to find some variants too, and you can add options like size or color, but Shopify just let us like select from these four different options size color material and style and for instance my guitar i want to name the constructor or the wood of the strings and so on so if i try to add another option these are the same options size color material and style and so on so what are you gonna do if you want to have more than those options, perhaps perhaps you're going to need some of those. I mean, the simple way to make this, for instance, is to, I don't know, like erase here the color. And here, if I scroll down again, I'm going to add the color and place here black and blue and red and so on so you're not gonna need to make all that process in the hard way the size too for instance so here if we select size we could place a small medium or perhaps a numerical value of different like measures in the guitar and that's it but remember and another option is just to size, color, material, and style. Maybe in the material we could specify like the wood, so pine, and some other, I don't know, different materials of wood that you can construct and build the guitar. But if I try, for instance, to make and name the strings, this is going to be hard. Because... There is no possible way to do that. Or perhaps you are selling um, second-handed guitars. So perhaps the, um, I don't know, like the usage that the guitar has been receiving over the last years or months. There is no way to place that on these specifications. Okay. And if you continue scrolling down, you're going to find your variants. And for instance, here we have the black, small, pine, okay? So you must select, because this is going to combine all the different variants that you have placed here. This is going to combine all those options. So as you can see, black, small, pine, black, medium, pine, black, blah, 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 pine, and so on. And with the different colors, sizes, and materials. So you must to select if you have that product right now, the amount, the amount of the product, the price of the product, are there are others on a hand, okay? And other specifications like the SKU and barcode if you need to select that. So obviously you must to select, I don't know, I have these guitars, 
I'm going to select the price and so on. But I'm going to show you the other process in case you want to sell, for instance, a second handed or add a different specification like strings or perhaps in the guitar the material of bars or the dimensions of mouth and so on dimensions in this case because as you can see here I have added three variants but I can't add another one okay I'm gonna click here and done so you must have that in mind so what are you gonna do is go directly into your store so I'm going to click on my online store Oh, I'm going to stay and save these changes. And now I'm going to my online store. And this is the, I don't know, like the default online store that I'm going to customize to add some other variants here. So here you're going to be able to modify your web page and add a different background and so on and also to get into your products as you can see here if I tap here to my products I'm going to get in here or also you can go there on top of your web page and you're gonna find the home page your products and if you click there the default product by now that is just my guitar the one that I recently created so um, if I want to add some other specifications, I can make that on text, obviously. So here you can continue writing in this description. But what we can do is for instance here, I'm going to add a block to don't confuse with the other this text, okay? And you can also move these to another part of your product. So I want to be have that, I don't know, below the price it could be or the variant bigger. And here in the text block, I could write whatever I want. So maybe the strings. I made the points and I'm going to insert a dynamic source. This is the important part. So if I click there, I'm going to add a meta field and there we're going to find different options. These meta fields have a lot of information to use and this is really useful to the people who manage the Shopify products and a store web page and so on. So here, as you can see in the meta fields, I'm going to add some variants some additional variants i'm going to add a definition so perhaps the name of the variant so here there is going to be the strings the name space and key so custom strings or it could be i don't know metal strings or nylon strings whatever and the description perhaps the brand of this string so in this case the Adario or I don't know some other brands I can also select the type of this particularly this is usually just a single line text and some other options like one value list of values and so on this is a lot of info to I don't know to have an account maybe in a different video and obviously this is just a definition paint so this is just going to be paint into your uh, variants and you can use this variant to whatever product you want to use. After that, there are another options like access options, give red access to selected options to perhaps storefronts or automated collections. This is your decision and I'm going to save my meta field. So I have it right now. And that's it. So here in my online store I'm going again into my customization to my product and probably this is gonna have a different let me see yeah probably we have to add it again 
so I'm going to add again the block, the text, to move this here below the variant picker and to make the same process and so on. Perhaps just the first part of it you must do, yeah, do it just, yes, there is my variant so I'm gonna open it and that's it. And that's it. That's how you can use your meta fields or different variants on your Shopify. Thanks for watching.